Now comes word of an apology from the Jaguars' front office to the city and to local veterans over the players who took a knee during the national anthem in London last month. One day after the team's smallest home crowd in years, a letter was released today from team president Mark Lamping. Channel 4's Jim Pickett has been talking to some veterans and others. He also reached out to a player. Jim is joining us live from the stadium with reaction to the apology, Jim. You know, some are saying this is just too little too late. Others were telling me today that it's time to move on. So let me show you what was in this letter. This is the letter dated October 6 from Mark Lamping to the head of Jacksonville's military and veterans department. Ten days after the protest in London during the national anthem when some players took a knee and Shad Khan and others stood with their arms linked in solidarity. It says, we were remiss in not fully comprehending the effects of the national anthem demonstration occurring on foreign soil. It goes on to say, we today can better appreciate how standing for God Save the Queen may have been viewed negatively by our armed forces in Jacksonville and beyond. Adding, we owe an apology and hope you will accept it. 12-year Army veteran Michael Odom says he won't and will continue to boycott the team. Not y'all are disrespectful. Very disrespectful. And I just... I, I wouldn't pay another dime to go watch anything that you did. And of course, I wanted to talk to the Jaguars today about this apology letter. What are they thinking of all of this? But they said they're going to let the letter speak for itself. I also tried talking to some team members about the apology. Do they feel that way? Hey, what do you think of the team apologizing for the London situation? I don't even have no comment on that because I don't, I don't even know about that, fam. But some veterans group, like the head of the Five Star Vet Center, says it's time to move on. I think some veterans will be satisfied with the apology. There'll be others I can't speak for that probably will not be satisfied, and, and I'm not sure that they really know what they want. So the letter was actually addressed to Bill Spann of the Veterans Department at the City Hall. And I was trying to talk to him today, but so far, there's no comment coming out of the office. We're live at the stadium, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.